like it was the right time to celebrate something like you know I just didn't think it was time to celebrate um, so I didn't I ended up moving the party to next month you know I feel like it'll, it'll still be so close but at least we'll get like the novenario done and it'll leave a little bit of space for healing just I don't know I just didn't want it to be so close um, just to give you know out of respect for my suegra for her sisters who, are, who live here he lived in Mexico so I never got a chance to meet him unfortunately Kenya never got to meet him but um, you know still Kenya's family uh, my husband's family and I, I just feel like out of respect it just wasn't right I didn't feel right and my husband of course didn't feel right doing it either so we did have to move it to next month but I had already set up this appointment for my hair I just wanted to touch up my hair I don't know maybe I'm not sure what I want to do to it I do want to talk to Claudia and see what she thinks I should get done uh, Jocelyn my sister-in-law is staying with us since her parents had to leave to Mexico for the funeral and all those things but right now she's currently at Mount Hood she's gonna um, sign up for her classes for the upcoming year but she's gonna meet me at the place watch Kenya for me. In the meanwhile, I have to take care of Kenya while my hair is getting done. My hair is looking a little bit a little bit worse than usual. I don't know if my camera is focusing. I was driving so I couldn't really see, but I didn't add any um, product into my hair or any heat. I didn't wash it last night either because I'm going to get a wash today, so why strip my hair even more? But yes, it's not looking its best but I hope that you guys like my hair after it's done I hope I don't regret it because I don't hate my hair but I just feel like it needs some love it needs some attention you know if it's like this or when it's styled but if I like look through my hair you can see some parts that need to be toned maybe um, do some dusting on my ends I don't know maybe just blending this in a little bit more so it doesn't look like choco flan maybe framing my face a little bit more so I have more blonde pieces in the front I'm not sure what I'm gonna do but I will go ahead and show you guys in there if not when i am done hey sweetheart if you guys are wondering we do have the other seat in the jeep but because she still fits in this one i kept this one just for a little longer in my car and then the other bigger seat is in diego's jeep huh daddy's car you're gonna be a good girl for me yeah will i get my hair done yes okay if you're a good girl i promise that when you are 18 years old i will let you dye your hair too deal Ojitos? Okay, deal. <laughs> Can I get up? Is that okay? Oh, no, it's probably better this side porque um, the natural light is coming through the window. sitting under the bowl because the bottom since it's so close to my um, back of the head it's obviously hotter there so I think it's processing faster than the top so we're in the bowl so I can help speed up the process if you know what I mean they currently just went next door she actually doesn't start I think till noon but she got me in an hour earlier so that she can get a little bit ahead of the game because I do have thick hair and a lot of hair so she doesn't have anybody in yet, but she does have another color after me. But right now I'm by myself, literally. Look how cute her little space is. If you guys are in my area or wondering who does my hair, again, it's Claudia. She is my husband's cousin. So I'll go ahead and list her stuff down. She's self-employed, you guys, so she has a little salon. So, so cute and super clean. And honestly, she's been so much help with Kenya. She's been helping me, so I don't think she'll do that for all all the babies but she's been super helpful that's why i come to hers because i know that i can bring kenya and you know she's very patient she lets me feed her and she lets me she's very mommy friendly to me i've been going here for almost like i want to say about a year 
Um, she's been the one touching up my hair, doing my hair. Uh, but yeah, right now they went to get coffee. There's a little coffee shop next door. There's a little antique shop next door, which is so cute. I wish I could show you guys. But yeah, this is the process so far. I think we're gonna go ahead and rinse after this, obviously, and then see how it turns out. I still can't figure it out. The front. Right here? It's kind of styled. I went to sleep right after I right after I got home. <laughs> the heck? But yeah, I went to sleep right after I got home because oh, this looks really yellow. Never mind. Let's just. I don't know if you guys can see it. But the color. I cannot even. Alright, so you can probably see a little a little better. Like this the lighting in here is not the best, but yeah, my hair is not styled anymore because I took a nap. I was like I was saying I had like right in the back, like in the nape of my head back here. Holy crap, like it felt like something, like it was like pulling me, like a lot of pressure, so I was trying to sleep, so I went upstairs. So my hair's not really styled anymore, but I really like the hair. It's not too bright, but it's not dark either. I, like she said it was a cooler tone of blonde. It was, this is more like a vanilla tone. I had more of a yellow tone when I went in. Um, we got more color on the top. And she added more color on the bottom because I had a lot of black down there, or dark brown. And yeah, let's, let me show you. Here. I don't really know if you can see it because of the light, but I really like it. Well, I think with time it might get a little bit lighter, but I'm gonna try to use a toner to see how it goes. But right now, right now I'm trying to wake up Diego because. And so is Jocelyn. And so is baby Kenya. She would run upstairs to take a nap with me, huh? Huh? Yes. I didn't think I showed you guys. We got this rug. Well, my suegra bought us this rug. Um, so now Kenya can actually practice walking this way. I guess it's a good thing that she's now, that her party is now a month and a half away because now she can actually practice walking so hopefully she can walk with her little dress on and it'll look cute 
when she starts to walk but everything is pretty much or was pretty much set i have all the stuff right over there that's nice that we have a little bit more extra time i guess um this one's asleep diego wake him up le papa le papi wake up dile wake up we need Bye -bye. papa yeah dile hi vlog hello vlog go Let go 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 quieres bailar shimmy put the music song on <laughs> Wait, so can you look look my hair looks different in every kind of lighting but I swear you guys it actually looks pretty in person especially when it's curled like this I don't know if it, I don't know how the camera is picking up but over there it looked more yellow I tried opening the door and it looked ugly but it's a pretty tone I'll show you guys when we're outside put it on the song you want to dance you want to dance thank you yeah Sun Chips, 100% whole grain, 100% delicious. Who needs celebrity endorsement? Bravo! Get that funny by yourself. Okay, well, she didn't shimmy this in, but usually she's like, oh, she'll shake her little shoulders. She wants to go with, but yeah. I think I'm gonna try, ah! I'm gonna try to, Ooh. I'm gonna try to convince Diego to see if we can go get sushi or Saigon. I'm really craving those too. For some reason, I don't feel as ah, fat I when I eat those. Here. I feel like even though they, they're so loaded in calories, I feel like a nice bowl of pho or beef broccoli or sushi just sounds so good right now. Oh, look at his burn, you guys. The muffler did that. And it was like bloated up, but it popped and it looks like that. That looks bad. I would, I would have cried if that would have happened to me. I don't want you to have a bink unless you need it. Sit, would you cry, Kenya? See? Oh, no, no. See? Oh, no, no, no. Hello. Earth to Kenya. Earth. I'm gonna try if I can wake him up and convince him to take us somewhere. Hello, Dad. You know, Daddy, get up. Mom. Papi. <coughs> Papa. Daddy. Daddy. Mommy. Papi. Mama. Get up, Papi. So this is what I usually always get. I get a scorpion and ichi rolls. They're so good. All right, so we just had our sushi. Kenya. And for those of you wondering where we came, this is where we came to get our sushi. This place gets a lot of... What the heck? Here? This place, well, at least when I was in high school, was always a controversy with this place. They always say that this place was not that good, that it was better. Sushi Hana, was, or sushi, yeah, Sushi Hana was better. And honestly, yeah, it is pretty good, but this place is good too. So if you live close to it, you don't have to drive all the way to Mill Plain and just come eat some here. It's not that bad. But we're just gonna go walk at the mall really quick and just kind of walk off the food and see if we find anything. But I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because I'm not gonna vlog anymore and it's gonna get really late and I'm gonna get tired and I'm not gonna end the vlog like I usually don't. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye. Say bye guys. Bye. Peace. Love. Prosperity. Ah, come on, Walter. Bye. Sobre todo, mucho, mucho amor.